Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's look is all about back to school. So if you're interested in learning how to create this simple makeup, please keep on watching. Okay guys, so for back to school, first things first, we gotta have our face moisturized and prepped correctly now. The key number one thing that I am telling you guys to start doing while you're young is to apply your hand to dandest sunscreen. Just want to apply a little bit. You can also kind of mix it into your moisturizer if you'd like to do that. This sunscreen is white, so you gotta make sure you blend it. I know there are plenty of sunscreens out there that actually have some sort of tint. For example, Elta MD. If I find it, I will try to link it down below. That's the one I used to use. It's really great. It's a little bit pricey, and I think that one you do get at the dermatologist's office. I'm not sure where they sell it. You might have to buy it online. So now we're gonna move on to moisturizer. Since going back to school means being in class for a long time, even if maybe you're in college and you're just there for one class that day and leave, you still have to walk across campus. So, you know, you do wanna be moisturized, but you don't want your makeup to fall off and be greasy. So for that reason, I am using a moisturizer from Ole Henriksen. This one is an oil control hydrator. Moving on to primer because like I said, it's a long day at school usually. I am going to be using Pore Professional from Benefit. And actually right now, if you guys are big fans of I Love Saraki, um, I'm pretty sure at Sephora they are selling a limited edition version of Pore Professional with her face on the box on the outside. So if you guys are into that or into like collector's item things, I think you guys should check it out because that would be pretty cool to have. Now if you're a little extra like me and you want that extra pop and glow in your foundation or on your skin for school. I suggest going in with an illuminating primer. Now this one happens to be from Japanese, but I know a lot of other brands such as L'Oreal also sell these type of primers. So I just apply a little bit on the back of my hand. You guys can apply this with a brush, but I happen to like how it applies better with my fingers, and I will put this on the high points of my face. Now if you have acne marks, uh, are prone to oily skin, or you know just prone to breaking out I suggest maybe not doing this or applying it just in the areas where you don't have you know those problems now this is another super optional step I just want to show you guys how to do it in case you are interested in it I am going to color correct now the reason I'm color correcting is because I tend to wake up with um, very dark circles under my eyes so for that reason I'm going to take an orangey color and just put this over those dark circles. So for foundation, you want to make sure that, um, well, if you choose to wear foundation, that it is a long lasting foundation, one that is not going to start breaking up throughout the day. And so that's why I'm going with Milani Conceal and Perfect in the shade 01, which is most close to my skin tone color. And I'm just applying it with a beauty sponge from L'Oreal. Okay, well, what I love about this foundation is that, like it says, it's a perfect and conceal, meaning that it acts as a concealer as well as a foundation. So I'm going to be mixing two shades of concealer for this look. And they are the Maybelline Age Rewind in the color Neutralizer and Light. Again. All this craziness is completely up to you guys. I just like the extra highlights throughout the day and I am one to wake up a little earlier to glam. So we aren't going to bake today, but we are definitely going to set this foundation and concealer. And of course, I'm gonna be using my handy dandy Aesthetica Cosmetics powder. I really wanna try uh, the Laura Mercier powder, but I kind of wanna wait until this one is done. This one has lasted me almost nine months. I, I really started using this product in January and we are in August right now, okay? So this product is amazing. So I am using an Aesthetica Cosmetics H22 brush and then I'm using the rest of uh, the leftover powder on this brush for the rest of my face. And with that residue on this exact brush, I'm going to just kind of set the um, foundation and concealer that we applied as a base or as a primer to our lids. Now we're not going to do serious contouring but we are going to bronze up our face a tad and I'm going to use this baked bronzer from Milani. It is in the color Dolce 09. It has a little bit of gold sparkles in it so it kind of just brings back light and glowiness into your face and I think that really helps us uh, look very youthful and glowy and just ready for the day. I do want to use another 
very like luminizing glowy type of blush so I'm using this one from Laura Geller it is in the color Tropic Hues and I'm going in with a matte brush and I'm sorry I don't know the number of it because it just fell off it kind of brings back color into your face and you guys look at that glow I haven't even put highlighter or anything I love this blush so much now I did skip the nose contour but I realized I do want to do a little bit of it again this is totally optional you guys at home don't have to do this so I'm going in with a BH Cosmetics brush and I'm just going to lightly contour my nose from Aesthetica Cosmetics, the Strobe Illuminate um, series, and this is in the light to medium shade. The trick to applying your highlighter is definitely wetting your brush with some setting spray or Fix Plus, and if you don't have this for whatever reason, which I think that you should totally go get some, you could also put a little bit of water. I love this kind of peachy champagne color right here. And I think that's the one that I'm going to go for. So I am just applying it with a fan brush right now. And you definitely want to put this on the high points of your face. I'm gonna get that C shape right here. And we already set our eyes with translucent powder, but I just wanna brighten them a tad more. Again, all you guys have to do is basically your face, and if you are done and ready to go, you can just go on out, go to school. You do not have to do eyeshadow. This is just for those of you who have like a little extra time. This will really take like three minutes. It's taking me longer because I'm sitting here talking to you guys, but I promise this takes me 10 minutes tops in the morning. So I'm taking this Stila palette. I'm pretty sure this is like a holiday palette. I think it's like the love palette, something like that. Um, it came with a lip gloss and a mascara, but these are the colors in the palette and we are going to take this one right here on a Sigma E59 wide shader brush. And we are just going to apply, apply this all over the lid. As far as eyeshadow, we are just going to dip right back into that bronzer. And on a Morphe fluffy brush, we are going to apply that right onto our crease. And this is a super easy, quick trick to help add a little bit of color to your eye. It helps open it up, make it seem a lot more awake as well. And we just blend that into the crease. This is also a super quick step. Again, you can skip it, but I choose to do this. Finally, we're gonna add a little bit of Super Shock Cheek from ColourPop in the color Wisp. And we're just going to apply that directly onto the lid. And this will definitely give you that pop of a little bit of extra glow and just awakeness in your look. Line, but I am going to be applying a little bit of that bronzer again with a very tiny pencil brush. Finally, to top it off, we're just going to be adding a little bit of mascara, and this happens to be the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara, which you guys know I love this mascara. I have been feeling this mascara for as long as I've tried it. Okay, if this happens, I don't know if you guys could see it. Don't touch it, we're not gonna worry about it. We are going to move on, let it dry, and use a dry Q-tip at the very end to remove it. So do not touch your mascara if this happens. For the lower lash line, I do suggest a waterproof mascara, but for the purpose of this video, I just decided not to put it waterproof, but uh, L'Oreal Lash Paradise does also come in waterproof, so I would do that to prevent any smudging on the lower lash line. I'm going to line them with the color Whirl from MAC and then just fill them in with uh, the color Cami, which is a matte lippy stick from ColourPop. Okay, so I also just finished filling in my brows off camera, but just to do this last step with you guys, I am applying a brow gel to make sure my brows are in place. So if you guys have full brows or if you don't have time to fill them in, the one step that I would not skip is at least applying a brow gel so that they stay in place throughout the day. So now that the look is pretty much done, this little speckle right there of mascara is dry so I am using a clean and dry Q-tip and just very carefully going in and removing this. 
So the setting spray that I'm using today is this Maybelline Master Fix by Face Studio. It is amazing, you guys. It's super affordable. I literally buy it at CVS, and it really helps your makeup last all day long. So yeah, this is the finished look, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. I think this look is perfect for back to school, even back to work. Um, if you guys were on vacation and you're going just back to work now, I think this is great. It is very easy, it's quick. I promise you it takes less than 10 minutes. Um, to actually do it on your own without trying to film and explain it to people. Um, but I think that all the products I used are great and they're very long lasting for throughout the day. Make sure you do apply a matte lip because that lasts a lot longer. However, I would do a matte lipstick versus a liquid lipstick because I feel like throughout the day it cracks a lot less. Because you know how sometimes liquid lipstick will get a bit flaky. but. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like this tutorial. I hope you like this background I got going on. And um, also, I'm going to link the Instagram for the boutique that gave me this really beautiful dress. It is a super cute back to school t-shirt dress. I think it's um, amazing for back to school as well. So if you guys wanna check them out on Instagram, I will link them down below. But yeah, thank you guys so much. And please subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos like this.